are you ready for the ultimate grilled cheese sandwich? If you are, we're gonna do it three ways. One with ham, one with spiciness, and one just regular old cheese. So first things first, we need to slice up our bread and get butter in. Grilled cheese is just one of those ultimate comfort food sandwiches. They are so easy to make, and if you do it right, you have something that is just out of this world. Now, the bread I'm using is a white bloomer loaf, but if you can't get your hands on this, any old sandwich bread will work. Right, I have the makings of some beautiful grilled cheese sandwiches, so now it's time to get buttering. You're gonna want to butter your bread on both sides, so inside you have this lovely, salty, moist, buttery taste, but on the outside you have this rich, crispy, golden crunch. That, my friends, is a proud pile of buttered bread. And now we need to talk about the cheese. Now, when I was making this as a kid, I certainly wouldn't have gone for Gruyere and cheddar, but this combination of strong Irish white cheddar plus Gruyere cheese is gonna give you all the taste of cheddar, but that lovely gooiness that you get from Gruyere cheese. It's a perfect melting cheese, but really, if you can't get your hands on either of these, any cheese that will melt will do perfectly in the middle of these sandwiches. So it's time for some grating action. Grab your box grater and then just grate up. With the Gruyere cheese, just take off the rind. So just slice that off, slice that off, and grate it up. And now it is time to talk about the ultimate cheese sandwich. So I'm gonna do three variations on this. The classic, which I'm gonna show you how to make now. This is really complicated stuff, by the way. Mix up your Irish cheddar and that lovely Gruyere, and then just sprinkle that on. You want a generous amount here. Top that with another piece of bread, and that is cheese sandwich number one. For cheese sandwich number two, we're going for a little bit of spicy action. So I've got some hot sauce. You can use sriracha or whatever hot sauce you fancy, and just spread that across your bread. If you like it hot, this is the one for you. Straight on top with the cheese. And then, that is grilled cheese option number two. And for grilled cheese option number three, we're going in for some lovely savory ham. So just nice thin slices of ham in there. In there with lots and lots of cheese. And then you do have to kind of press them all down. I'm gonna fry these off on a griddle pan and you need to have these at a nice medium heat so they're gonna give you a lovely golden brown color. If you don't have one of these griddle pans, just a normal frying pan will do the job. It's all about the sizzle. Oh baby, do they smell good. I'm gonna serve these up. They're toasted, they're golden, and they're gorgeous. So all you gotta do now is tuck in. I don't know which one I'm gonna choose. I think we'll go for the, the one with the bit of ham. It looks pretty good. Let's have a look. Cut off a nice little finger. Look at that. Mm. Gooey, chewy, salty, all the things you want from a grilled cheese. This is so good, and if you want the recipe, even though it's incredibly simple, you'll get it in the box below over on my website. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment beneath letting me know how you make your grilled cheese sandwich, and if you want lots more delicious recipes, stick around, because there's more on the way.